ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is your main event of the evening, and it is Cradle versus Cradle. The stakes could not be higher. In the main event of the insurrection, yet another outstanding event from NWA Midwest. But it's all been building up to this. of an event as spectacular as this. This is no uh, small recognition being given to these men. But here comes the man everybody in the Hawk Rec Center is here to see and support Bruiser Schmidt, the reigning defending NWA Midwest champion. by the end of this match. With the introductions out of the way, we are ready for the main event. There is little left to be said to set this match up. It is title for title. It is winner take all. Each of these men representing an entire organization in this match. Mr. Rothschild, what did you say the man accompanying Mr. Uh, Matt Taylor? He is no shame, Jimmy Shane. Uh, he's very fond of boy bands. Uh, he likes to dance. Well, it sounds like you guys would get along. I don't like boy bands. Well, nonetheless, it was perhaps very wise and shrewd of Matt Taylor to bring some backup with him. Bruiser Schmidt, all the backup he needs is that chain, although I didn't see the chain oh, with him tonight. Oh, that's not a good idea. Where is Bruiser Schmidt's chain? Bruiser told me he wants to win that, you know, he doesn't want Matt Taylor to have any excuse. He wants Matt, when he beats Matt Taylor, he wants to know he won fair and square. Well, Which isn't going to happen, but... There you see the virtues of a champion in full display from Bruiser Schmidt. With that mindset, I'm even more confident in his chances tonight. I know that you expressed some reservations. You're trying, 
you're trying to play both sides of the fence. You're trying. Oh, I got, I got, I got a job lined up for when Bruce Smith loses. It's okay. Oh uh, well, good to know that you'll be taken care of. Yeah, I, I couldn't get you a job. Sorry. Well, they only have room for the best commentator here. I was gonna say, I think I can do fine on my own. But hopefully, it won't come to that. Uh, Matt Taylor is no stranger to NWA Midwest, and I don't know how happy these fans are to see him back in the building carrying another group's title, no, no less. Nobody wants to see him take the Midwest title back to Lima and try to Lima's hold... Lima's a wonderful city. Well, have I can't, you ever been there? I cannot say that I have visited. I, I know that Al Snow, uh, a great veteran of pro wrestling, makes his home in Lima, or one time did. But the home of the NWA Midwest Championship is right here in Marion, Ohio, if I have anything to say about it. We know Bruiser Smith really wants to have his say, and they're going at it in the center of the ring. Taylor wasted no time in laying in those shots to Bruiser Smith. Yeah, Taylor, you know, while being you know, a little bit smaller than Bruiser Smith, is not scared to get in and start a fist fight. He's not scared. Well, the last thing you want to do in a title-for-title title match is hold anything back or have anything holding you back in your head when it comes to facing a man like Bruiser Schmidt. You'd better be in it to win it. Back to the side headlock. Oh, Bruiser Schmidt trying to break the grip. Does so. Trying to reverse this. Unable to cinch his back on that side headlock. Oh, but the big man uses strength and just levels Taylor with that shoulder block. Now, what do you think? Do you think Bruiser Schmidt's got any friends in the locker room that'll come to his aid if this uh, this interloper here with Matt Taylor wants to Don't make call him? Jimmy Shane an interloper? Well, he has no business here in he the was sent to make sure that Matt Taylor was not jumped in our locker room. As, as, I, as I said, it was a smart move to have backup when you're coming into hostile territory, but having him at ringside for the duration of the match is an entirely different story. Oh! Bruiser Schmidt ran right into that drop kick from Matt Taylor. That was a heck of a clap there by Jimmy Shane. Well, he is doing his part on the outside to uh, provide moral support, at least. If he keeps it at that, then I will have no problem with him being here. It is in This match, as I said, it's just as important to him and everybody else that works for war as it is for everybody that works here at NWA Midwest. I'm somebody's so okay. somebody's going to go home without a champion in their company. See, that's why Bruiser Schmidt is not smart. Had he seen that Jimmy Shane was here, he would have brought back up too. He's not smart. He's from Milwaukee. He can't be that smart. Well, do you think that he's, he has enough support in the locker room that should have been needed? Somebody I don't know. He was a jerk for a long time. He still is a jerk. Well, I would think that there'd be any number of men ready to have the back of the champion, Bruiser Schmidt. He just put Matt Taylor on his back with that huge clothesline, scoop and a slam. 280 pounds of force behind that power slam winds up with the fist drop. Attempted a cover, but just not enough to put away Matt Taylor. Still a little bit too early, I think, in this match. Oh, huge Beal! I knew Burgess Schmidt could do it. <laughs> well, yeah, quite the front runner is Rothschild. Duck under. Oh, kick. short kick. Kick to the hamstring. Follows it up with the That's what we for having a guy like Bruiser Schmidt as champion. Well, it's not over yet because Bruiser Schmidt would not be he taken down. Him. He proved that he has got all that it takes to be a champion. The way he survived in the tournament, defending the belt last month in the opening match against Timmy Townsend's hand-picked opponent. I'm sure Timmy Townsend, wherever he might be at the moment, is on the edge of his seat watching this match. As we said, the ramifications, we can't stress this enough, the ramifications of this match being title for title. 
You would think Timmy would be out here, but you know, he's probably still recovering from the trauma. I was going to say, yeah, he um, he got a little bit too close to Jackson Stone, I'm sure. Oh, whip across. Taylor able to spring off the ropes, but not able to avoid the charging bruiser, who is feeling it in Marion. Winds up with a big elbow off the ropes again, but arm. Um, Mafia kick, yes, specifically on the arm, and we know that Bruiser Schmidt likes to finish off opponents with that lariat. And if you can injure the arm, you take that devastating weapon from his arsenal, your chances go up immensely. But he's got to keep his eye on his opponent, meaning Matt Taylor, he can't waste time having words with the official. He needs to stay on that arm and that shoulder. And he's got Bruiser Schmidt deeply compromised at the moment. Things starting to go in the direction of the war contingent. You see? That's Much to I my dismay. I knew Bruiser Schmidt was going to fail. I knew it. Well, this match is far from over and Bruiser Schmidt is perhaps the toughest man I've seen walk through that curtain in Indian Point Midwest. So I have no doubt that he is more than in the fight. Oh, but Matt Taylor systematically dismantling That's Bruiser Schmidt. Well, he said that he can hit harder than Bruiser Schmidt. He said that he's, he's the better wrestler. So Just casually deposits Bruiser Schmidt on the outside. Oh, but, look, Bruiser Schmidt can't get up. However, a, a count out would not result in a, in a title change in this match. So if he wants to be, in fact, a double champion, which is the goal of these men, that's why this match was booked. The officers got together and decided that they would have a battle for supremacy. Champion versus champion, your best against my best. Bruiser Schmidt, very much close, very close to settling that argument. But Matt Taylor still has uh, something to add. Post at the arm, working on separating the shoulder, dislocating the elbow, doing anything he can to weaken that powerful arm of Bruiser Schmidt. As we said, we know he uses to love that left, he loves to use that left arm for the Larry to finish off his opponents. Smart, it's smart by Matt Taylor to go after that. Oh, completely. And there's nothing the referee can do about it. It's as legal as a headlock. But taunting Bruiser Schmidt might not be the smartest game plan. Mind games don't work with this guy. Crowd rallying behind Bruiser Schmidt. Either or not, they want him to lose so we have a chance that we can be proud of. They, they have no interest in recognizing Matt Taylor as the NWA Midwest Champion. But Bruiser Schmidt needs to needs to find a way to get back into this match. Oh, wound up for a big clothesline. That's it. But he took a boot to the face. And at one, two, thought he had him. Thought Taylor ended the reign of Bruiser Schmidt as NWA Midwest Champion unceremoniously. Not that Schmidt would want to lose the title to anybody, but should should there be a new champion, I'm sure we would all hope it would come from NWA Midwest and not some other organization. Bruiser Schmidt has spent the majority of this match trying to fight off Matt Taylor and his attempts to to take out the arm. But Bruiser Schmidt still has one good arm and he's putting it to good use. Duck under. Atomic drop. One arm. Oh, Buster. And that's got to be it. One, two, he's got him. No. I was 
certain that Bruiser Schmidt had Matt Taylor put away with that spine buster dead center in the ring. But he managed to get the shoulder out at just the last second. Looking for a suplex. Finds the back door. Close line. Impact there with that running knee strike and a kick right to the jaw of Bruiser Smith. That's got to be it. I hate to say it, but we've got a new champion. Or do we? Luckily, I spoke too soon. As the referee clearly indicates, that was a two count. Well, the referee certainly is. to contemplate Matt Taylor getting a victory with that maneuver, but he seems to feel that he's got Bruiser Schmidt right where he wants him. Come on, Bruiser. I know I'm supposed to be unbiased. Yes, you should be unbiased. But sometimes there's more important things than professionalism, and Bruiser Schmidt is the guy that I'm rooting for. I'm not going to make any... Uh, qualifications about that. Matt Taylor doesn't work for NWA Midwest. Oh! Wound up huge, huge Lariat. But not enough to put the to put Dark Star Matt Taylor down for the count of three. The war title was just that close from going into the hands of Bruiser Schmidt. Now, I, I'm sure Bruiser Schmidt would be more than happy to grant Matt Taylor a rematch in war or in NWA Midwest should he emerge a dual champion. Oh, fire! But he's not able to recover in time to get the lateral press to create a pinning combination here and capture the title. Referee putting a 10 count on both of these men. The first man to get back to his feet could walk out with two belts. Bruiser Schmidt is doing everything he can to get back to his feet. Look at the resilience of the NWA Midwest champion. You hear the crowd. Punch. Yeah, wound up with that shot. But Taylor responds in kind, but not kindly. And now they just trade right hands in the center of the ring. Neither man wants to go down. That was a forearm. Oh, winds up with a bicycle kick. But only staggered Bruiser Schmidt cannot take the big 280 pounder off of his feet. Big wind up and a punch. That's got to feel like getting hit with a bowling ball. Oh, oh is this a good old fashioned slump? Yeah, now he's getting two or three in a row, putting together a combination is Matt Taylor. And Schmidt has fought Taylor all the way back to the corner. Oh, just unloaded with the body shots to the rib cage. Just trying to bust the man up. Little flip-flop and fly, shades of Dusty Rhodes landing in public, if you will, Daddy, with the bionic elbow action. And it is definitely Bruiser Schmidt's dream to become a double champion. Oh, we've seen him use those insiguris, use those feet so well in this match, talking about Matt Taylor. It's only a matter of time before Bruiser Schmidt is not completely unconscious by one of those kicks. Uh-oh. I mean, I hate to say it, but Matt Taylor is wrestling an excellent match. He has matched Bruiser Schmidt, hold for hold, shot for shot, punch for punch, blow for blow, which is what he has to do. Oh, unable to land with the double stomp, Bruiser Schmidt suckered him in. Made Taylor reveal his game plan. Oh, 
with Taylor. Turn Schmidt's momentum against him. He takes a bad spill right out here near the entrance. I thought for just a second that uh, Taylor's uh, accompaniment was going to uh, take a cheap shot, but fortunately he's maintained his perch in the corner, and I spoke too soon as he's... He's just going to help him out. Whiff, that's all he does. But, oh! oh both men take a spill. Clearly, some teamwork here from the men. Our best friends. The men of war. And as we speculated, that could very well prove to be the difference in this match. Otherwise, I would say, you know, both men are champions. You know, you don't get more of an even match than champion versus champion. At least on paper. But Bruiser Schmidt fighting his way out of the front row. That's how up close and personal these fans are to the action. The fight is coming to them in their seats. You can hear, you can see the sweat fly and hear the blows connect. Just slugging it out, it's turned into a hockey fight. Referee goes down in the midst of all the action. Oh! Well, unfortunately, the referee has declared a no contest. The referee has just informed me that this match has ended in a double the match is over, the war contingent are taking liberties with Bruiser Schmidt. Somebody's got to come out and put a stop to this. I know they can hear me in the back. They better be paying attention. It's two on one. Mary Here comes Marion Fontaine. Able to even the sides. Thank goodness for Marion Fontaine. Well, the fight is certainly not over, but there was an inconclusive end to the match. Referee counted both men, or disqualified both men. Are we going to have a tag match? I would hate to see the, the, the night end. Bruiser Schmidt has called for the tag team match. Marion Fontaine is ready to go. Are you ready? Matt Taylor not sure how to respond. I say get it in the ring and let these two men fight it out. We're wrestling The best way to play is more money. So sometimes. Uh, Matt Taylor says it's all about money. But so it seems to be the way that we leave things here as Fontaine and Bruiser Schmidt are just going to fall into the back and settle it back there. Forget about the cameras of the fans. They're going to take it to the streets of Marion. They're not going to let them get away. Ring the bell, Rothschild. We've got a match. Impromptu tag team match here. What is this? Bruiser Schmidt, Marion Fontaine joining forces to take on the invaders of war. And this is why this event was called the insurrection because these two men are trying, are trying to get away with things that they have no business doing here in NWA Midwest. I'm glad Marion Fontaine and Bruiser Schmidt would not let that stand and we've got an impromptu tag team match. Bonus wrestling, yay! Absolutely. 
But the fight is not over. Marion Fontaine kept his work boots on. Sprang right back into action here. After his match earlier in the evening. And I, don't, I would say, you know, this is quite the uh, impromptu team, but they're working well together. Bruiser Schmidt is still in there fighting this hard after the match that he just had with Matt Taylor. And despite the inconclusive result, both men showed why they are champions in their respective organizations. But Matt Taylor... Getting as big of a piece of Bruiser Schmidt as he can before he walks out of NWA Midwest. Don't punch Marion Fontaine in the face. Well, I wouldn't mess with the man's mustache. He's quite particular about that. I think he has it insured for a fairly substantial sub. Matt Taylor, again, it didn't work the first time. What makes him think it's going to work again? Especially after the way he tried to treat NWA Midwest and their fans in that match. is he wants to walk out with his hand raised no matter how this match or this night finishes off head scissors I mean this is obviously the way to go for the, the war team Bruiser Schmidt after that 15 minutes or more of action that we just saw clearly sucking air trying to find that that reserve of energy that it, it's going to take to put him over the top and get his hand raised. Tag to Matt Taylor. Off the top. Going right back to that arm he worked on in there. The, the way things started in the one-on-one -on -one match that we thought we would have. Oh, rears back with that huge kick right to the sternum that could break many many ribs not just one and Fontaine not liking what he sees from his vantage point on the ring apron but that just proves what a what a true fighter and gentleman Marion Fontaine is and being willing to come to the aid of Bruiser Schmidt when he needed somebody Winds up, big elbow. Axe handle blow. Polish hammer of sorts. Oh, meeting in the mines. And the kill shot. The Tamakazi. Many names for that maneuver, but certainly effective by any one of them, just like that lariat from Bruiser Schmidt, but he's got to watch out. Oh, there! Hook in the leg, one, two! Not enough! I thought, I almost thought that that was it. You're oddly quiet here, Rothschild. What do you think about the way that this match has... I, I'm just in shock that we're, you know, an extra... I'm, I'm scared for 